many cultural events have taken place in these unusual venues. Due to the main popular attraction until the recent Japanese conflict forced to close in the mid 1970s, on June 6, 1995, this natural wonder was again open to the public. Seat. Public. <coughs> Simply known as the Cedars, this resort settlement in Lebanon's highest range is one of the most dramatically beautiful spots in the country. Its centerpiece is an ancient grove of cedars, a tree cinnamon, or millennia for, with, Lebanon, with Lebanon itself. Ceylon on, the, Ceylon on the coast, 48 kilometers south of Beirut, is one of the famous names in ancient history. But of all of Lebanon's cities, this is the most mysterious. In the 19th century, treasure hunters and amateur archaeologists made of with many of its most beautiful and important objects, some of which can now, now be seen in forging museums. In this century, two ancient objects from Sidon have turned up on the world's antiquities markets. The largest city in South Lebanon, Saida, is a busy commercial center with the pleasant conservation, conservative atmosphere of a small town. Since Persian times, this was known as the city of gardens and in the place, uh, palace complex, the Lebanon's best example of early 19th century Lebanese architecture. Architecture was built over a 30-year period by Emir Bashir al Shahab II, who ruled Mount Lebanon for more than half a century. In the Middle Ages, Lebanon was divided up into fiefs and governed by Emirs or Hittiter Sheikhs. But in the early years of the 17th century, Emir Fakhr Din to man succeed, uh, succeeded in, the, in extending his power throughout these princedoms and eventually, eventually ruled an, an area cor corresponding to <coughs> present day Lebanon. Aranjal, uh, 58 kilometers from Beirut, is completely different from any other archaeological, archaeological experience you, have, you will have in Lebanon at other historical sites in the country. Different uh, approach uh, and civilian civilizations uh, are super superimposed one on top of top of the other. Anjal is exclusive is exclusively one period the Umayyad Yum Lebanon's other sites were founded millenniums millennia ago. But Anjal is a rel relative newcomer. Going back to the early eighteenth century eighth century AD unlike Tyre and Biblos which claim continuous habit habitation since the day they were founded. Anja flourished for only a few decades. <coughs> Balba, Lebanon's greatest Roman treasure, can be counted among the wonders of the ancient world. The largest and most noble Roman temples ever built, they are, they are also among the best <coughs> preserved.
Yeah. 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 Fuck it, I don't know. I don't know. Think about it. Because I want a big year in the UK. And a bullet. Is there an FAA? Yeah. Yeah, I'll buy it off here, right? Alright. Come on. I don't know. I'll think about it. Think and you know. This is as better. صرخ الله Because it's the native tree of the country and is found in the highest mountains of Lebanon. 